Hello everyone, it's your favorite dragon smog here, and today I'm going to be reviewing set number 71736, Cole's Boulder Blaster. This set retails for 40 bucks and, and consists of 449 pieces. But with that, let's get straight to the review. Starting with the minifigures. And speaking of minifigures, I guess we'll start with this guy. This is actually the limited edition 10 years of Ninjago Legacy Kai. And um, it's Kai, but he's golden. You can see this little printed piece in the front, 10 years of Ninjago. And it's Kai, but again, he's golden. He has a nice little print, the golden clothes, but with the red. And I guess you could say gold strap and undercoat, if you want to call it. This little red part of his mask as well. Well, oh, and again back here. He again has this little um, back piece, shoulder piece, whatever you want to call it, to hold his sword. Same as Lloyd in the last review. And a little red stripe in the back, but it's kind of not visible right now. Uh, some red right here. And that's pretty much it for Kai. Next up, whoa, this guy is called Izor, and he's kind of cool. His back print has this little serpentine logo. He also has some, I don't know what you would call this, belt straps. He has a belt in the front as well. This little bone necklace and the print for his chest. His eye has this little serpent and a mohawk. And uh, this eye is white, kind of creepy, and he has some fang looking things. And his pants have a kind of cool print, I guess. My camera is not concentrating. Next up we have Lloyd. This is season 3 Lloyd. He has this little mask and then his hair above. This is not what Lloyd looked like during season 3. He did not look this good. We have the um, new print for Lloyd with the green eyes and eyebrows looking like that and stuff this isn't what Lloyd used to look like if you guys know you know but he does not have anything on his sh shoulders it's just the front that's covered he has his little belt going and you can see his undercoat whatever you want to call it is something on his pants. Kind of a cool print, almost like a belt in the front. Oh. On the back, he has this, I'm not sure what animal or whatever that's called, but it's kind of cool, whatever's on the back. Almost looks like a skull. I'm sure you guys can't see it. I'm sorry about that. This is Cole, same thing as Lloyd. He has a little mask in front and his dark hair. This is. The guy who goes with the ship he's in. Oh my god. But um he has a cool little strap going through his front. And again this weird little animal. And that's basically all the minifigures. No shoulder prints or anything for the shoulder. Uh we'll get to this. It's almost like a skeletal cage. I guess you could call these bones on the side. It has some little greenery back here. And there's nothing on the back. It also has this. Which has a sticker on it. And if you shoot this. It'll go back. And this will open. And that's kind of a neat play feature. I'm not going to lie. I like it. I like it. Whoa. And I, you can see the back there. It's just a few studs and whatnot. It's not so detailed. You have this little purple decoration up above purple and stone but um let's get to the actual set now this is kind of cool this is probably one of the coolest legacy sets i've ever seen if we just move everything back here we can get straight into the set so first things first we'll just, whoa we'll start with this cockpit this cockpit is its own piece, its own weird piece. And 
If you open it up, you can see this is a print. This is not a sticker on the front for the control panel. There's also these weird gun pieces over here. So I kind of like the way they use them. There's this, I don't know what you would call this, front grill up here. And there's also a sticker down here, which is kind of cool. And uh, for the front, I'm not going to use the rotation feature. But if you rotate this, all of these will shoot. Which is, I guess, kind of a cool play feature. These wings down here are uh, flexible. Whoa. You can move them up and down however you like. Personally, I think I'm going to move them like this. Down. But uh, if we go to the back. <clears throat> this is its. This is the ship's sort of back booster. There's a print. There's a, or not a print. A sticker here. And a sticker here. And there's this weird piece. I'm not sure what it's called. For the, I don't know, back wings. And we'll look at the front. And then I'll show you guys a little bit of the underside. So, this right here is the, um, is, is the front. Sorry, I'm not, I don't know. I'm so tired right now. But, um, sorry if the review is not that good, guys. I'm really trying, though. So, you can shoot all these. If you rotate it, it'll shoot. It's this weird big wheel piece here, but it looks kind of cool. And you can shoot all these with the mechanism back here, as I said. This uh, wheel piece along with the outer wheel piece, whatever you want to call it, is well in the front. But, um, finally, um, this is how you stand it up. There's this thing in the back, and then there's this little shield piece thing that holds up the front. But anyways, that was the review for set number 71736, Cole's Boulder Blaster. If you guys ended up enjoying, consider leaving a like and maybe subscribing. But, um, bye. See you next time.